What's going on guys? It's that time of year. We're loaded up and we're heading down to New Mexico. So we got Daddy Dio here and uh, we're going down. We go down about once a year. Uh, my friend Brian lives down there in Albuquerque. So we go down, stay with him, practice at Moriarty on Saturday, race on Sunday. It's always a good time to head down that way. So it's about six hours for us. So we're leaving right after 11. Um, get down there right in time for dinner and then rip it up this weekend. So it should be a good time uh, Dad isn't riding this weekend, but he does have the pit bike. So he'll be getting the footage for us But uh, let's get on, let's get on the road and get after it Oh fair New Mexico We love we love you so The grandest state to know All right, here we are at, at Brian's house. We're checking out his Corvette. He just got finished up. Oh, nice, man. But uh, gonna get unloaded and we'll grab some food. And we got Brian Suzuki over here. Oh yeah, should be good. And then uh, we'll be hitting up Moriarty tomorrow for practice. So I won't bore you guys with too awfully much vlog and stuff. We'll catch up with y'all in the morning when we're headed to the track. All right, and here we are Saturday morning. Got the bike, we're about to get unloaded. So we're going to be riding the TLC track this weekend. So the main Moriarty track is the one down in the hole here, but they've been getting a lot of rain here in New Mexico recently. So it doesn't look too bad, but I think they were just kind of worried about it maybe being flooded out or rained out and who knows how wet the track actually is. But so that's the track we've raced on before. I've only rode this when it was unprepped, but they got so much rain that they prepped this up and it looks super sweet. So I'm a little bummed we're not racing the main track just because I've had good luck there, but I'm equally as excited to race something new so um, I took off my polar already but it's only like 9 30 we got here nice and uh, early so unload the bike get geared up and get ready we're going out with the course of A's and B practice I'm assuming it's just A's and B's C's and then minis and I'll probably sneak on for at least one of the C practices so I can do some laps with Brian but uh yeah track looks sweet nice and uh as green as it can be out there so uh, let's uh, grip it and rip it gonna be a great day we're all good to go. Practice starts in about three minutes. We got Yeti warming up. So uh, let's get on down there and check this track out. Brian says, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> You're no one special, Robert. <laughs> oh, look, you got a fun one. I said, you got a fun one. I guess because it's, yeah. All right. Imagine having an e-start. It's awful. <laughs> It's so deep right now. Yeah, it's really, really deep. I can hear your bike struggling. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Nice. Little OJ. Not bad.
just so deep, it's killing me. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah. giving you a decent length practice. Though. Yeah. We just finished up with our first practice. Brian's about to go out there. He was watching ours. How does it look out there? Soupy, very slippery and soupy. <laughs> definitely, it's, they definitely put down a lot of water, which is good because they're just preparing for it to dry out, which I'm sure it will. But um, yeah, it's very muddy, like on the insides. It's deep, the bike was definitely struggling. I was struggling, um, just dropping the front end. It just wants to suck you in. So well, um, I'm gonna tighten up the front suspension, add some more compression to it because I had it for the Supercross and I put it back to normal. So I'm gonna put in a few clicks and try it again. But uh, yeah, I got winded out there pretty quickly and the track was just tough for me with uh, those conditions. So I'm sure by next practice, it'll dry up more, be more bikes on the track, it'll be good. But it was fun for sure. Got the jumps down, nothing too crazy out there. Able to hit them pretty straight up, but some of the jumps have some water before them. So they're a little bit slick, but we got factory mechanic daddy D.O. already on the mud scraper taking care of us. But good stuff out there looking forward to the next one but now we'll go watch Brian ride It was good. It's nice to ride something that's not all dry, like dry sand. Dry. It's, it's real slippery, but it was fun. Had fun with it though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just, yeah. You had fun. It's so awesome, man. Didn't crash, so that's that's a win. Yeah, and like Daddy Dio taking a break because he just scraped off all the mud off my bike. So huge thank you to Dad for that. But now uh, minis are out there, and then we'll be right back up. So get some water, adjust the clickers, like I said, and then uh, go get some more. if there's someone in front of me stuff like that so just really scoping the track out here
Daniel and Kieran riding together. Just met Kieran today. Nice corner for sure. gonna do it for me man. Do too. Woo! Yeah that was 18 minutes I was actually on the track. Yeah. Woo -wee. That was fun hopping in behind you. Yeah definitely. <laughs> And with that last practice, that's gonna do it. I rode the whole time that time, put in 18 minutes. I came over the finish line and started to slow down. I was like, I gotta keep going. So I, I dropped my pace some, but stayed out there uh, just to get the whole moto in. And I know the motos tomorrow will be way shorter than that. So threw on the dirt bike depot, windbreaker thing to keep a little bit of sun off me. So hopefully I don't burn my arms, ideally. But um, we're gonna get loaded up now and head back to Brian's and celebrate his birthday, which is tomorrow with a nice grilled meal. So looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, it'll be good and be fun. Um, 
tomorrow will be fun. The track was real muddy at the start and then it dried up like you'd expect, just like Aztec Raceway back in Colorado. They, they put a lot of water on it so that it'll hold moisture as long as it can and inevitably it gets blown and evaporated by the sun. So it was a lot of fun though, some good lines out there and I feel pretty good on the bike. I just get tired really easily, but uh, let's go ahead and get Ye Le Yeti loaded up here. station to get some drinks after leaving the track they had a Dairy Queen in the gas station so I got a blizzard I mean, can you blame me I mean it's hot it's gonna be good so now to drive back to Brian's it is 5 30 now uh, we got home at like 3 33 o'clock something like that and I told Brian I was like dude I'm gonna leave the bike I need to take a nap like I was out I think the Sun just zapped me a lot so came and took like an hour and a half nap and now we're about to have some food but I wanted to show you guys um, I put some sunscreen on my face but I didn't put any on the rest of my body. And in between motos, I was taking off my shirt, of course. And uh, yeah, it got me, got me pretty, pretty good. Oh, that's no fun. But uh, gonna be like annoying on the jersey tomorrow and stuff. But uh, it is what it is. So we're making some burgers and stuff now for Brian's birthday. We have Red Bud on, so the race has been over for a while now. But got some food, so. That's going to do it for our practice day. I hope you guys enjoyed the practice day at Moriarty video. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be racing 25 plus, 30 plus, and 450B. So it'll be a good time, and we'll see you guys there. But as always, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>